Hey guys, it's Dr. David Abbas and we're back doing another breakdown. For today, I want to break down Nate Martin's very gruesome eye injury that we saw on the PFL Challenger Series, where essentially it looks like his eye is bulging out and down and looked very, very gruesome and concerning, which caused immediate stop to the match. Before we get into that breakdown, I want you guys to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'm an orthopedic sports medicine surgeon that takes care of some of your guys' favorite professional athletes. I'm also a professional ringside physician alongside some of these professional fights, and I know some of your guys' favorite personalities in the sport. I'm here to give you guys the latest update in sports medicine, so make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss anything. Boy, this was a very gruesome injury. This likely occurred after taking a couple straight cross punches from Delano Taylor to the eye. You could tell he was immediately bothered but we didn't really get an idea of how severe it was until the camera angle shifts after the end of round one. The ringside doc was called into the ring and immediately and rightfully so stops the match. And again, it looked like Martin's eye was basically bulging out and down, very gruesome and very concerning. So the bout was stopped and we found out that he was immediately shipped to the local hospital, which was absolutely the right move. What likely occurred is what we call a orbital blowout fracture, okay? And what happens with this is usually as a result of a direct blow, and in this case, a straight cross to that area, is the force of that punch can translate into the, the bone that make the, the floor of the orbital wall. And what can happen is those bones are not the strongest, they can actually fracture or crush. And what happens is when you lose that integrity underneath there, that's basically housing the globe, what we call the eye, it can cause the globe to then displace down into that new defect because we've lost the structural support. And there's a normal sinus called the maxillary sinus, which is usually filled with air. But now that we have this injury that causes bleeding, and we don't have any separation with the integrity, everything can then shift down into that maxillary sinus. And the result is what we saw with Martin most likely is that his globe goes down and outward. So it's lost that structural support underneath that eye, which causes it to have this very gruesome appearance. Okay, Again, definitely getting x-rays and definitely getting a CT scan. The CT scan is our 3D way of looking at the integrity of the bones to see what exactly got fractured. The main bones of the skull that make up those is called the zygomatic bone, the maxillary bone, and the palatine bone. Those make, again, make up the floor of the orbit. And when those get crushed, again, you lose that structural support of the globe and that can drift down. In terms of the treatment, most likely, definitely we're talking about surgery in this severe of a case where the maxillofacial surgeons will go in with um, access through the bottom of the eye. And what they usually do is, is use bioabsorbable plates or other types of structural supports to rebuild that area. The other severe thing that can happen from this is once those contents get displaced down and because we lost that integrity, it, it can basically start pinching on some muscles or some nerves, which can also add to that you know very grotesque appearance that we saw with that bulging eye. So that's likely what is going on in terms of the long-term future. After surgical repair, if everything goes well, I think it's very possible that he could absolutely return to fighting. We've definitely had very elite fighters sustain injuries like this. Part of the fight game, and they do return to fighting and in other sports as well, including the NBA. So that is our breakdown of this fight. I think we got an orbital blowout fracture. is the highest on my differential. If you guys enjoyed this breakdown, again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you never miss another breakdown. And until then, we'll see you guys on the next video.